Hey YouTube, this is MPD News. I'm T and I'm back once again with some more videos. I have been away for some time because I have a lot of things to do regarding school and work, but I'm going to try and do my best to continue these videos every Sunday like I used to. But today specifically, I was thinking about a couple of things that I felt like I had to get out today because I just experienced this uh, not too long ago and I wanted to make sure that you guys also knew based off my experience what you should do when you run into a narcissist and based on the type of narcissist that you have. Um, so today specifically is um, going to be about uh, what you do when you run into a narcissist somewhere. And this one specifically is about running into them at the store. I'm going to do a series where I'm gonna have multiple videos after this, uh, specifically about what you do when you run into narcissists. But this one today is gonna be about what you do when you run into them at the store. And like I said, it is going to depend on the type of narcissist that you have, but I'm going to try and give you some examples of what you should do when you run into a covert narcissist. And then based off my knowledge of the overt narcissist that I know, I'm going to try and give you some um, advice on what you should do when you run into the overt narcissist. So recently, I just ran into a covert narc that I have known for about a couple years, but I didn't get really close to until about last year. And I was, and it was like, I was close to this person for about a couple or maybe a few months and until I started realizing that there was something really wrong with this person. But I did run into her at the store and I did, I heard a voice that sounded familiar, but I wasn't thinking anything of it. Um, cause it, it, it kind of sounded familiar, but then at the same time it didn't, um, I guess I just wasn't listening to my intuition, but I just continued walking. And then out of nowhere, we kind of just like bumped in, like ran into each other, not like literally like bumped into each other, but we kind of stopped like right in front of each other, like face to face. Um, all I did was I said, excuse me. And I continued walking like she was just any other shopper in the store. Like she was just somebody that I've never known. Like I've never met before. And I think that this worked with her, or I guess, and you know, just for the type of narcissist that she is, is basically because, number one, she's really weak. I mean, narcissists in general, they are weak, but she isn't the type of person to go running after somebody. She's very, like, in the introverted narcissist. She's, you know, the covert narcissist. Like, so if you don't know what a covert narcissist is, then maybe you should go check what a covert narcissist is before you come and finish or watch this video. But... She's not that type of person who's going to run after me or who's going to be all open and like, oh, hey, how are you? How's it been going? Like, oh, my gosh, I missed you. She's not going to she's not going to do that. So in this case with her, the type of person that she is, it was more of just like, excuse me. And it wasn't that rude, but it was just like, oh, excuse me. And then I kind of just kept it on going, which, again, that's another point that I want to make is that you don't have to be rude to them. You could be neutral and just act like, again, like they're just another shopper in the store now if this was the overt narcissist i have a feeling that she would have been surprised by the fact that she has seen me and maybe had tried to engage or start a conversation she probably would have said hi or something and i my my reaction my response would have been just to politely say hello and then continue walking just like you know seeing an old friend or maybe an old acquaintance that you haven't seen in a long time and you you know you just wave hi and you continue about your day so that's one of the things that I think is a very helpful thing to do is that you just act like they're just any customer or any um, shopper in the store and you keep on moving about your day just be neutral you know be polite but you know just keep it moving um, if you end up being in a situation where you have to speak to them where you know they come up to you and you don't want to seem like you're mean or um you don't you don't want to make things like really awkward I mean if you have to speak to them and they come up they say hey how are you doing what I would suggest is that you be extremely vague in your response and don't say anything that gives them any information about your life or what you're doing at the moment because of course they want to know not only so that they can use it against you, but also that so they can tell other people and then other people can try and get in on your life and try to destroy it on behalf of the narcissist. So basically, yeah, just be very vague and be very short. And if they say, hi, how are you doing? Just say, good. 
Um, don't ask them any questions. Don't be like, hey, um, how are you doing? It's just, it's pointless. Why would you continue to engage in a conversation that you really don't want to be in? If anything, what you really want to do when you see the narcissist is you want to get in and get out if you have to. But um, if you don't, you don't, don't get in it at all. Just to avoid it, ignore it, and continue. Um, so that's what you do if you have to speak to them. Be, be very um, vague. Be very emotionless. Your face should not be super excited. You should not look super angry. You should look like, um, you should just look emotionless. Like they can't figure out, figure you out. Like poker face, basically. Um, and then also your tone of voice. Don't make it super high pitched. Don't make it super low pitched, so where they can tell that you're excited, or seems like you're excited, or so that they can perceive that you're angry at them. Just have a neutral tone, a neutral face. Try and make your body language as neutral as possible, and then hopefully they they'll catch the message or it'll become so awkward that they'll you know let you go or you could say well I got things to do and you leave um and then that that goes into the third one if you have a choice on whether whether or not you um engage with them you just act extremely busy so if if you have to if they come up to you and you have if you like you you feel like you have to say something to them what you should do is basically just um be like hey uh nice to see you got to go I honestly actually wouldn't say nice to see you because it isn't nice to see them, but you know, just be like, hey, um, uh, if they ask you how's it going, just be like, good, I'm good, all right, uh, I gotta go, I got things to do, or maybe you probably might like start jogging or something or speed walking, um, it just depends again on the type of narcissist, but usually, especially in a public place, they're not gonna embarrass themselves and they're not gonna chase you, so, yeah, speed walk, start jogging. Um, they might, it, this might interest them. Um, so then again, sometimes, like I said, depends on your narcissist. You might want to be careful when you're doing that. So truly, you're really just going to have to know the type of narcissist, narcissist that you're dealing with. And then you could decide what, which one of these steps you can use. Or maybe you might um, switch it up in your own way. But intuitively, I think you really know your narcissist and you know what you should do when, when you see them. Just follow that gut instinct and follow what your gut um, tells you to do. So basically in my situation, when I ended up seeing the narcissist, I kind of just went with what my gut told me to do. And it was, and it's like that voice that just says, keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Or there's a voice that's going to say, um, um, be, get in, get out, be short, get out, you know, get in, get out. That voice that says, get in, get out, do what you can to get it. Um, if you have to get in, get in and then whatever you have to do to get out try and get out as quickly as you can be a little bit strategic and maybe what you can do which helps a lot is you want to make sure that you do think about what you're going to do if this happens maybe write it down on a piece of paper and then also write down things that um might throw you off because narcissists they typically like to throw you off balance so think of all the craziest things that they could do and think of possible solutions as to why, or not as to why, but as to what you would do in the situation. So if they go, hey, let's come over to my house, like write down what you would do if they said that, um, write down what you would do if they grabbed you, write down what you would do if they hugged you, um, write down what you would do if they pushed you in front of everybody. And I doubt that they would do that in front of everybody unless they want, you know, that public um, that negative public reputation, or if they want someone to call the cops on them, especially if it's a man pushing a woman. Um, but yeah, just any of these three steps, go ahead and try it. Um, figure out the type of narcissist that you have and who you're dealing with and see which one fits in. And then I guess, I guess you could adjust it according to, um, the narcissist that you have. And then also, like I said, uh, follow your gut and follow your instinct because your instinct, um, usually knows what to do. So that is all I have for today for that specific um, topic on what you should do when you run into the narcissist, specifically at the store. Um, Again, I said I will have some more videos regarding what you do when you run into them, and I hope to post these up really soon, and I will see you later. Thank you.